Hello guys, how it's going? We hope that all of you are doing very well, right? Students enrolled in the December session have their exam coming up soon, yes? First of all, our best wishes go out to you in your exam. Best of luck, just ask it. Feel free to contact us if you have any last minute doubts, comments, questions. It would be our genuine pleasure to assist you whatever best possible from our side, okay? But wait, please don't think like this that because we are such an YouTube platform for increasing our viewers and subscribers, we are saying such things. No, things are not like that, okay? Okay, so let's begin our today's session. Given A, B, C, D are consecutive positive integers, what is the value of this expression? So here i is a imaginary number. We know its value is given by square root of minus 1. Yes. Now a, b, c, d are consecutive positive integers. So we can write b as a plus 1, c as a plus 2 and d as a plus 3. Yes, because they are consecutive positive integers. Therefore, this expression can be written in this way. Now, simplifying what we will obtain, 1 plus i plus i square plus i cube. Now, if we look at this quantity, we have 1 plus i and we know i square equals minus of 1 and i cube equals minus of i. Therefore, simplifying we obtain this as 0. Therefore, the answer is 0. Yes, option A. If C is a real number and if 1 plus i is a solution of this equation, then what is the value of C? So, we have given a quadratic equation. It is a quadratic equation, right? Its highest degree is 2 and we have also given one of its root. Is 1 plus i. Yes. What more is given is c is a real number. This is an important point additionally has been given to us that c is a real number. So, this means we know that in a quadratic equation, if the coefficients are all real, then the complex roots, it is a complex root, right, will occur with its conjugate. That is, if one of the root is 1 plus i, since all the coefficients are real, Therefore, another root will be its conjugate that is 1 minus i. It is the conjugate of 1 plus i, right? So, from here, we can obtain the value of c, okay? Well, how we can obtain? We know that product of roots is c yes therefore what we will do we will just multiply these two and from here simplifying this what we will get 1 square plus 1 square equals c this implies c equals 2 therefore the value of c is 2 yay in the figure above, 
each of the small circles has a radius 2 and the large circle has a radius 6. If a point is chosen at a random inside the large circle, what is the probability that the point lies inside the shaded region? So how we are going to solve this problem is, so the point would be anywhere somewhere here, okay? Some random points. We will exclude this two small circle because this two small circle is not in our business. Yes? So for excluding this means we have to excluding their area from the total area. Yes? So what is the total area of this circle? Pi 6 square. Yes? That means 36 pi. And what is the area of both of this circle? Small circle. Combine area of the smaller circle is pi 2 square plus pi 2 square. This gives 4 pi plus 4 pi that is 8 pi. Yes. So, we have to exclude this 8 pi from 36 pi. We obtain the area of the shaded region is 36 pi minus 8 pi. This gives 28 pi. Yes. Now we have to determine that what is the probability that the point that we are choosing randomly should lies inside this. So it's pretty simple. We just have to take the ratio from the theory of probability. Yes. So now if we simplify this, what we will obtain? 4, 7, 4, 9 and this pi will get cancel out. So the answer is 7 by 9. Yes. Therefore, A is the correct option. Yes. Yay! Of all the articles in a box, 80% are satisfactory while 20% are not. The probability of obtaining exactly 5 good items out of 8 randomly selected articles is. So, we have given a box of which 80% are satisfactory and 20% are not so good. Yes? Something like this. Red one is the satisfactory and say blue one is the unsatisfactory objects. Now what we have to do is we have to compute the probability of obtaining exactly 5 good items out of 8 randomly chosen article. Now this is the problem of binomial probability. Okay. So as we know from the theory of binomial probability that if P is the probability of obtaining success in a single trial, then 1 minus p is the probability of failure, okay, of that single trial. And the combination here is we have to choose 5 satisfactory item from randomly chosen 8 items. So this can be done in 8 choose 5 ways, yes. And the success is, we need the success from this 80% satisfactory article. Therefore, the value of P here is 80%, that is 0.8. Similarly, 1 minus P, 
is the failure this gives 0.2 therefore the success we need five times success yes because we need five good items and three should be failure so this is the total combination in which we can select five good items out of eight randomly selected articles so if we simplify this from here we will obtain 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial we have seen this in our earlier classes that how to solve this type of problem combination therefore without going into the details if you haven't gone through that classes we would recommend please go through that class so that you will get a clear concept how to solve this how to do the simplification process it's pretty easy it's not so difficult simplifying we obtain approximately it is an approximate value you obtain 0.1468 that's what we can say 0.147 therefore the correct option is D yes I just want to add one more thing here that if you have any doubt on binomial probability please let us know in the comment section we will make a separate video a lesson on binomial probability which is a very important topic okay if the length of a rectangle is three times its width, what is the sign of the angle that the diagonal makes with the longer side? So let us first draw the rectangle. Since the length is almost three times of the width, so let's name this as A, B, C, D. And we assume that the width that is A, D equals B, C equals X. Therefore, from the given condition, we have the length AB equals DC equals 3x, yes? Now, we have to determine that the sign of the angle that the diagonal, that is AC, or you can also do it with BD. I am doing with AC. You can also try with BD. It is not at all any problem that the diagonal makes with the longer side. So let's assume the, this is theta. So we have to determine sine theta, yes? Sine of this angle. So we know sine theta is following Sokatoa rule. Sine theta is opposite by hypotenuse, yes? So what is opposite here? We have opposite is BC. And hypotenuse is AC. Now we know BC is X. And what about AC? Since it is a right angle triangle, therefore AC is AB square plus BC square X times. We have AB square is 3X square from here. And we have BC square, X square. Simplifying, we obtain this is square root of 10 and X will come outside. So now, simplifying, we obtain this is 1 by square root of 10. Therefore, our sine theta is 1 by square root of 10. If we simplify this with the help of calculator, we will op obtain an approximate value of this one which is 
almost 0.316 that is option A. If triangle ABC is isosceles that is what is an isosceles triangle? A triangle whose two sides are equal yes and angle C is 90 degree that is angle C is right angle. So let's just draw this first. We have ACB, C is 90. Maybe the drawing is little bit poor, but what it is AC equals BC because ABC is an isosceles triangle, right? So we have to determine that which one of this following answer is correct. Now, this angle and this angle are equal, let's say theta. And this we know 90 degree. Now, we know in a triangle, the sum of the angle is 180, right? So, from here, we obtain simplifying theta equals 45 degree, yes? Therefore, tan A equals 1, it is correct because tan 45 is 1, our A is 45, B is also 45. We have sin A equals cos A because sin 45 is 1 by root 2, yes? And cosine 45 is also 1 by root 2, therefore this is also correct. We have sin 45 and cosine 45 because B is 45, therefore, this is also correct. Therefore, 1, 2, 3, all the options are correct, yes? Therefore, D is the correct choice. Yay!